feel like I really should not be filming this video as my hair is like this. I don't know what hairstyle you want to call this. Um, just the... I don't know. Hey everyone. So yes, I am back with a new video series. So if you don't know, last year um, for Avengers Infinity War, I did a suit build series. That's what we're going to call it. On how to make a Iron Spider costume. And I guess it turned out all right. I never really gave... I never really gave a final look of it with like the suit on and everything, but yeah, the suit turned out great and the videos gave me a lot of views, so. So yes, instead of doing another Iron Spider suit or another Homecoming suit, like I said I would, I'm gonna be focusing all my time and energy into making the new Far From Home suit. So, I will be giving you an in-depth, like, tutorial DIY stuff on, um, okay, no. So I will be giving you guys an in-depth look on how to make your own costume just like me, how I'm gonna do it, and I'm actually gonna take you step by step on how to do it, unlike last year. So the first thing you're gonna need to do, like I did last year, is order your suit print. Now you can completely just skip like this step and probably like the next few couple steps of what we're gonna do, and just order the suit completely, just sewn and printed, and then you just need to puff paint it, add the shoes, do the face shell and lenses, and you're done. But if you wanna be a little ambitious and actually wanna go on the cheaper side, cheaper, um, you can do what I'm doing. So basically what you need to do first is find a pattern file. Now the pattern file I used was the first generation Far From Home suit from uh, Joel House, I think he goes by now. He used to go by House of J Customs, but now he goes by Joel House or something like that. Uh, his Instagram and his website where I got the pattern will be a link in the bio. He's actually updated the pattern, so now the back piece is just one piece instead of like two pieces, which is more accurate. And then he also offers like no logos in the front and back. He has three different patterns uh, you can choose from, and I recommend those because honestly, I think those are like the most accurate kind of sort of. I don't know, but of course you can just go somewhere else. Like I've got a designs is a good one. Arachn Studios has an amazing one also, but I can't really find where to buy that. Yeah, you can even create your own if you're that good. After that, you want to head to someone you know who can print your pattern. Now, I usually like to go to the RPC studio for the printing just because they do an amazing job. And you don't have to go to them. You can also go to places like, I think one is Fabric on Demand and another one, you can go to Matthew something something something, Matthew DC or something like that. Um, he can print out your uh, patterns for you and uh, he does a great job too. It's a little on the cheaper side than the RPC studio but I like the RPC Studio the best. So when you go to the RPC Studio, you need to have a couple things. You need to have your measurements for your chest, waist, and hips, I think it is. And then also you need to put your height, your weight, and then you need to give them a shared link to like a Google Drive link or something so they can download the pattern and print it out for you. Once you do that, they should give you a bag just like this shipped out to you. Um, I've already cut up my pattern, you're gonna need to do that. Um, it's a long process, I didn't really feel like waiting to film this video this weekend just to do that, but I decided to cut it up and show you guys what it looks like cut up. So first we'll start with the body, um, that's what it looks like. Uh, this pattern does not come, up, come with an, a detachable mask, um, it just comes with an attached mask, which I don't mind for this one just because I want to keep it that way. And, but yeah, here's what the pattern looks like. I don't think on camera you can tell there are lines there. So this is the suit. Uh, here's the torso. Here's the mask. The legs. And then here's the boot. All like the front half and then like the butt of the suit. Obviously it's gonna come out a little smaller just cause, you know, when you put on the suit, it's gonna stretch. Next we have an arm. Now. Uh, Joel, I'm guessing that's his name, did a little something different to the pattern that I think all pattern makers should do really now, um, just to make it easier. All dice up patterns now, they really come in what's called a Raimi style pattern, which is based on the original uh, Raimi series suits. Uh, basically, they were the first ones to do like a dice sub print of the suits. 
of the Spider-Man suits they use for the movies, and they use this specific pattern to hide seams and like web lines and stuff. But now we just use them for most of our die subs, and it's kind of getting old, and like some of the seams don't look right because they're not Raimi styled suits. But over time, like my PS4 suit and this suit, they started getting pattern makers started like getting rid of certain seams, like here on the neck. There usually be this little thing. Like, that's a circle to make the neck tighter, but they found a way just to make the neck smaller, and I think that's a lot better, it hides, you know, seams better. And on this pattern, for the gloves, they've made, like, this glove just one piece. Usually there would just be a separate palm piece, and then, like, you know, a separate thumb piece for whatever, but he just made it, so it's just one piece. And I honestly like this better for sewing purposes. It makes it a lot simpler for like new like sewers out there instead of just having to figure out how to sew the palm to the thumb and then the thumb to the actual hand and yeah it just looks a lot better and you can tell where everything goes a lot better and so yeah here's the hand it looks amazing and then next we have the side of the head it's so basically this piece wait how does this piece go? Okay, yeah. So this piece basically just goes in the side of your head like this. It's part of the neck too and shoulder. Connects to the shoulder, connects to the neck, and then connects to the part of the head. So let's see a little bit of that. Look at that rich red color. The next we have one of the back pieces. So this is the back of the head where you usually sew the zipper right here. And this is the white back spider and then the belt right here so yeah that looks great and then we have one of the most painful I think pieces to sew it's the in inner fingers that you usually see on these suits um, this one's a little smaller than the usual ones that patterns come with but I guess that's just the way it's supposed to be um, on his patterns anyway. So basically this piece of fabric goes in between fingers like that. So it's like an actual glove. And you can kind of see a little teaser for the next video. I've kind of, yeah, I did a little bit of that last night. But yeah, that's basically all that comes with this certain pattern. I think the RPC Studio did an amazing job. And as for other pieces for this project that I will need to get, um, I, I will be getting a new face shell and lens kit. You can totally just use like a homecoming If you already have one like a homecoming kit, they're basically almost the same It's just the shape and like the lenses are a little different and I will be getting a new T-Jack uh, far from home lens uh, And face shell kit just cuz you know why not uh, I need to get more views somehow and I'll show you how to put that together and stuff and then next obviously in the next video will be about puff painting your suit um how to get that like nice, you know, 3D texture you see on this piece of fabric. That little basket, oh there we go, light, light. yeah look at that. It's a beaut. So yeah, I'll be teaching you guys how to get that nice kind of basketball texture on red red parts and then how to get like the stripes on the, on the black parts that you couldn't really see, I don't think. And then after that, it will be, um, you know, how to get, you know, the straps, the black straps on there. I will be doing a different method from my homecoming suit, but it will be the same method I used for my Infinity War suit. And then after that, uh, I think it will be like the logo, the front logo, how I'm going to do that. And then it will be the shoes, and then I'll basically, you know, be done with the suit. Actually, no, I got to sew it up. I totally forgot about that step. Uh, yeah, I will be showing you guys how to sew up the entire suit using my new... Serger you can see in the back. I'm not sure I need to probably zoom in Yeah, I need I'll be showing you how to use that new serger I bought for Christmas and then you know just a you know the sewing machine I'll show you guys how to sew up the suit this pattern everything, you know I'll take you guys step by step on how to do this. So yeah guys, that'll be the end of this video uh, My battery is literally about to die. I can see like right there. It's like about to die um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video on this look on the far from home suit uh, it's gonna be a fun project to work on and fun videos to make and yeah I promise you guys a lot more videos are coming out on this channel like you know challenge videos and you know maybe vlogs of mukbangs I want to do and then you know maybe a little bit 
ASMR videos. But yeah, um, it's gonna be a great year and uh, I can't wait to, uh, for you guys to see it and yeah.